Hello friends, welcome to this video. In this video, I am going to install the root sage theme and I am uh, going to set it up for you so that you can see how to set up the sage theme and start your development. Now we are going to use couple of tools like uh, node package manager, npm, bower and gulp to set, set this theme up. Node package manager will help us in uh, managing packages for uh, JavaScript based uh, libraries. Bower will help us download the uh, you can see uh, say the dependencies that we are using in this theme and Gulp will automate your task like uh, generating the CSS from the SAS language. So these are the three uh, tools that we are going to use. Also we will be using Composer which is a PHP based uh, tool to create a, create the project. So first let's start with Composer. So we will do a Composer create project. And let us name our new theme as new theme. You can try to do a sudo in case you do you get uh, a directory not writable error. In this way, it will it will be able to write the directory. So you see it's installing roots sage theme. The version is eight point five point one and it has created the project new theme and now it's updating dependencies composer uh, mostly downloads the packages to a cache file so that when you are going to uh, maybe use it in another project you it can download it from this cache only so you can see I have this new theme set up so I will just chmod because this is my test environment but uh, never do uh, 777 on uh, production environment so I will just move to new theme and if I see you can see you have all these files available now if you see style.css you can see it's sage starter theme and the version is 8.5.1 so next we need to check the packages which are installed so I will just do uh, npm ls and you see there are no uh, packages installed I will just do note npm install so this will check the packages this file package.json and based on this file it will download packages from the internet and install it so till the time these packages are being installed I will just pause the video so it takes some time but uh, you can see I have all the packages installed you can check with npm ls and it will list all the files that are being and all the packages that are being installed inside this uh, inside your theme now I am using Bower so I have Bower installed but uh, there is some installation issue if you are facing the same issue I would recommend you to run Bower with sudo but uh, you have to use uh, you can say an option that is allow root if you are using it with sudo so you can see I am getting the same output that I should have uh, received if I am using this command without the sudo option but due to some installation issue in my system I am I have to use allow root option to 
execute bower so I will just use sudo bower install to install the other dependencies okay uh, there's another issue that I'm facing here that uh, sometimes uh, Bower is not able to resolve uh, this URI when uh, it's starting with git so you might need to change in your bower.json file from git to https and it might work however it's successful right now so I will move on next you need to do check if you have gulp installed and you can use to automate the processes and you can see it will compile the scripts and then it will automatically generate the CSS after this you will have your theme installed so I will activate this theme let's go to our theme section and you can see this is your our current theme and if you will see here you can see we have bootstrap working you can check here in the page source in the CSS you will have all the CSS compiled from the SAS file you can do some customization and you can follow the uh, process uh, the development process specified in the website of the Sage theme to create your desired application. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And in case you have any queries, please drop them in comments. Have a great day. Bye bye.